ha, 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 this motherfucker think he can beat anybody. But guess what? He's fucking wrong. He is fucking wrong about that shit. Him and his fucking pathetic, fragile ass ego. Or think he's better than everybody. Fucking bragging, you know, running his mouth, talking shit. That's all this motherfucker does. Talk shit. Brag this, brag that. All the motherfucker says KD's the best player of all time. This and that. But guess what? He went nowhere. They're about to get swept by the Boston Celtics. They're down 3-0 now. So much for this fucking guy, right? This is what happens. You fucking brag and brag and brag and talk shit. Think you're the best in the world. But guess what? You'll never be the best in the world. Ever since he left the Thunder to join the Warriors, I lost respect for this guy. And I never showed respect for him ever since that happened. Like, this guy's a fucking clown. All this guy does is fucking brag and brag and brag and brag. And talk shit about people and stuff like that. This is what happens. Yeah, we act like an asshole, thinking you're the best in the world and shit. Think you could beat anybody like you're a like he's a god or something. This is what happens. Pathetic. KD and his fucking fragile ass ego. He got the best of him. Bit him right in the ass. That's what happens. Mr. Cakewalk himself can't do it by himself at all. Also, when he told fucking James Harden to fuck off and he started talking shit about him, and guess what? James Harden and, and B are gonna go farther in the playoffs. And this guy's out because this guy talks too much shit. And that's what happens. Too much ego will fuck you up. And this guy's proved that ego will destroy you. Don't be like Kevin Durant. Don't be like this nigga. Your life will be destroyed. Ego will destroy your life. Let's look at happened to this fucking guy. He throw away James Harden, and guess what happens? They're go not going nowhere this fucking season. <clears throat> I mean, this playoffs. Not going nowhere this playoffs. They're down 3-0. They think they're going to come back. If they're down 3-1, maybe they could have come back. But 3-0? No, they're, they're done. It's over. It's over. Kyrie ain't coming back either. You know he wants to come back. He's not coming back. The Chinese man had enough of this bullshit. They're going to get rid of him. Because he did not want to take the vaccine shot. So he wasted like half of the season sitting on his ass watching the game from home. Farting on his ass and shit. So that they're done with his fuck ass. They're going to trade him and send him somewhere else to get somebody else. And he's another motherfucker with too much ego also. And he's toxic as fuck. He is toxic. Just like KD. KD's a bigger toxic person. And that's why they're both good friends with each other. Because they're both toxic as fuck. But like I said, I cannot see these two win a championship. I don't want to see them win a championship. They're toxic as fuck. And they don't care fuck about nobody but themselves. That's why I don't like these motherfuckers. Especially KD. That dude is, has too much ego. I think he's like he's better than every motherfucker. And he always talking shit about everybody. I don't like, I don't like a b best player like that. Ever since he left the Thunder, I lost respect for him. When he's joined the Warriors, win those easy rings, I lost respect for him. I don't fuck with niggas like that. Join us, make a super team and shit. I don't fuck with that. Same with Kyrie. We left fucking uh, left Cavs to join uh, another team. I didn't fuck with him anymore either. I lost respect for him ever since ever since that shit. Ever since he think the world is flat, I thought he's he's retarded as fuck. People still respect these motherfuckers. I don't understand why. But then again, people are retarded as fuck. But yeah, like I said, don't have too much ego. It's fine to have some ego, but not too much like these motherfuckers. Don't be like them.